Oh, hi, good, ever good afternoon, everybody. Today is Wednesday, November 24th, 2021, 3.51 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Clearwater, Florida, United States. Thank you for watching my video. This is Clearwater, I'm sorry, this is a Tampa Bay chemtrail update. Uh, today is an extraordinarily clear day of chemtrails. Look at those clouds, normal clouds, puffy white clouds. As they go off into the distance, they become uh, constant, but that's because of... Um, uh, what's the word? It's an art uh, art uh, principle. Um, starts with a V, I think. Um, perspective. Okay, it's a P, not a V. Anyway, that's because of perspective. But anyway, um, yeah. So earlier today, it was the entire sky was perfectly clear like that. So this is a once or twice a year event. Only once or twice a year do we have natural clouds and only natural clouds. I heard something the other day for the first time about chemtrails. Somebody mentioned it somewhere, and then I made the observation for myself, and my observation confirmed their uh, statement, and that is that natural clouds move, chemtrails stay put. They don't move. So uh, that was happening the other day. The natural clouds were flying by at a rapid pace, and the chemtrails up above were staying exactly the same. Uh, so I don't. my only thought on that as to why that's the case is because natural clouds are at natural heights, of say, uh, you know, 30,000, 40,000 feet. Chemtrails are up uh, around 60 to 70,000 feet, uh, presumably. I mean, I don't know, I've never heard that, but uh, that's, that's my thought on why chemtrails don't move. Now, obviously there are air currents, I would have to assume, again, at every level, but uh, I don't know, maybe that's not true. Maybe way up high there are no air currents. Reason being, uh, other things that I've heard in this regard, is that the atmosphere is actually in layers, uh, different types of gases. For example, there are more uh, noble gases in the atmosphere than uh, the gases that we're all familiar with, nitrogen, uh, carbon dioxide, and oxygen. And uh, noble gases, a couple, the only two examples that I can think of, I think there's only six of them, but um, the only two examples I can think of because I'm not that familiar with noble gases to begin with, but everybody knows what neon is. So they make neon signs out of uh, neon. Obviously, that's a noble gas. Argon, I don't know what argon is, but uh, that is a noble gas. And there are four, four others listed on Wikipedia, which I can't think of right now. I'm not familiar with them anyway. So they're like foreign words to me. But uh, point being is that um, different gases have different densities. So they accumulate at different levels like stratus like different stratuses uh, I can think of uh, as a kid I would go swimming in the ocean and if you would swim about six feet down there would be a very distinct line where the water went from warm to cold so cold water obviously has more uh, density of salt warm water less so the warm water is on top the cold water is six feet down so that was pretty cool um, so there's uh, I think we're all familiar with this concept in principle but uh, there's uh, also a science experiment where they take some type of gas. It could have been argon. I don't know, but it's a heavy gas. So it probably wasn't argon because argon is, as a noble gas, is, I think is way up high in the atmosphere. But uh, anyway, it was, a, it was some type of a heavy gas, and they put a bunch of candles in a flat, rectangular-shaped uh, bin, and uh, they took, and then they put the bin on the table, then they took the container full of heavy gas, uh, again, I don't remember what it was, but they poured the heavy gas into the bin of candles, right? And all the candles went out, uh, even though there was nothing visible you could see putting it out. But it was just the heavy gas. Uh, it also was a gas in which a candle can't stay lit. I guess it's a gas in which uh, combustion can't take place. So, anyway... Um, I think uh, it's, you know, up at, at different layers of the atmosphere, there are different types of gases. There's also the example of the amateur rocket uh, group out in uh, the desert, Nevada, Arizona, somewhere out there. And they sent a, an amateur rocket. It was, it was, it was a really uh, sophisticated event as far as being amateur goes. Uh, the rocket itself was about... 12 feet tall. It had three GoPro cameras attached to it. And uh, point being is that once it reached about 70,000 feet, it immediately stopped ascending and spinning. It stopped because it was spinning really fast, going going up. And uh, everybody said it hit the crystalline dome that covers the Earth, but that didn't make sense because it didn't stop and become 
broken into a bunch of different pieces. It didn't stop like that. It's like it. It's like uh, if somebody jumped into a mud puddle. In, in other words, it stopped slowly, and then it just started floating around. And then I think eventually it came back down. So it is exactly as if it hit a layer of the atmosphere that is a different type of gas. Uh, and it was basically captured in that gas and the combustion of the whatever types of engines they were using uh, was extinguished and it just started floating around like literally tail over nose just kind of spinning and randomly floating around so uh, they, and they had it all on GoPro uh, I don't know for sure that they got their rocket back but I think they did I think eventually it, it came back down but anyway so this is all very interesting stuff why they oh I the reason I started talking about neon is because uh, it's really fascinating to think about the fact that there are noble gases like neon in the atmosphere uh, because of all the different colors of the sky at different times of the day. And as we know, they use neon to create all different colors of, of uh, lights and signs, open, close, you know, whatever, different types of signs. So that's really fascinating. It's also fascinating to consider that in the laboratories, they can use these noble gases to create different types of uh, different colors of lights by subjecting them to different electromagnetic frequencies. So the point being is that when the sun rises and the sun sets or the moon comes around, it they both emit electromagnetic frequencies. They both emit light. Uh, the sun, the moon does not reflect light. It emits its own light, it's a different color of light, different type of light. Uh, and so these electromagnetic frequencies from the sun and the moon uh, and probably other events like thunderstorms and things like that, um, they cause the noble gases in the atmosphere to change colors. So, all very fascinating stuff. I'm not a scientist. I don't uh, actually know with scientific certainty what I'm talking about, but uh, it's interesting to consider, and uh, I believe in the value of uh, personal independent um, in intuition and consideration and uh, investigation even if it's only investigation by intuition uh, putting little uh, randomized pieces of knowledge together like uh, Lego uh, type of a uh, thing so anyway all right today again is Wednesday November the four, uh, November 24th 2021 about 3 55 p.m. by now I guess hopefully this video hasn't been too long 3 55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Clearwater Florida United States. God bless you. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for, so much for watching my video. And let's all be thankful and grateful to God for this uh, Kim Trail free day in Tampa Bay. I remember we had some Kim Trail free days, but very interestingly, back when the uh, Russian investigation against President Trump was declared dead. That exact day, uh, I'm sorry, the next day, the following day, the following day, precisely the day following that announcement, we had two or three days of Kim Trail free days. And it was amazing because I had been checking Kim Trails, watching Kim Trails for uh, probably maybe a year at that point in time. And every single day, almost without exception, we had uh, skies that were polluted, covered by these pollution blankets that are created by these Kim Trail uh, airplanes. And it has been wicked bad lately. I just haven't made any videos, but I could not not make a video today because it's so clear. So anyway, again, thanks for watching. Wednesday, November 24th, 2021, 3.51 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Clearwater, Florida, United States. God bless you. Happy Thanksgiving, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.